I was living their dream. So it was just an extension of whatever they wanted me to. So, so that way, I think more than me, my parents were very happy to see me play for the country. Game day or even a very good game day, the one thing that I always relate to is film. So I think if you ask me about it, I think films it is. Uh, I still have a particular playlist that I always listen to. But this question is really, it's like <laughs> tongue twister, Monica. In conversation today, we have Tirush Kamini. So, hello ma'am, Vanakam. Hello, hi. So, today is going to be a bat ball segment with you. So, I'm <laughs> going to shoot questions with the ball and you're going to answer with the bat. Right? Fantastic. Super. So, since you're a left-handed batsman, so my first question is, are you ready for the googly? <laughs> <laughs> I think I am. Okay. What made you to choose cricket ma'am? Uh, I think I like the competitiveness in the sport as such. In okay. fact, uh, uh, in fact, when I started playing, it was the late night ODI matches that I used to watch with mm. my dad. I mm. used to be a kid, I mean, I used to mm. fall asleep and then wake up in the middle of the night and ask him what happened to the score. I think that kind of, I had the uh, curiosity as to what it would feel like to be a cricketer myself and right. I think that's how I started playing. Right, okay. Oh, Good that catch. was hard. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. So, my next question is, what was that first surreal moment when you wore the Indian jersey? The first time getting into the ground and you're wearing the India jersey and people are cheering, India, India. How was that moment? Uh, it was the most exciting moment and I think it's the precious moment of my life because okay. any cricketer who starts up playing would dream to play for India. Right. And for me what happened is I played for India 16 years and one another thing that happened is I played against Pakistan. So, oh. even more special it was. I think the whole, if you ask me a surreal moment, I think right. I would always uh, talk about the moment that I first stepped into the ground and faced my first ball wearing my Indian jersey. Okay, nice. So, with the catch of the second question, second ball. So, my third question is, I have something special for you. I, every moment, I mean, every son or daughter, whoever plays their first game, their parents would be really excited and they're, you know, really pumped up to see their uh, kids playing on the ground. So, when it comes to international forum, a game like cricket, it has a lot of attention, a lot of media attention, especially women playing cricket, coming from Tamil Nadu and playing for India cricket, that's very special for them. So, how was your parents' reaction when you were playing your first international cricket? Uh, in fact, I, can, I still remember the moment I was up in my room and my mom popped this information that I kind of got selected for the Indian team. So, I walked on the stairs. It still feels right fresh in my head. <laughs> and in fact, I think I always talk about the support system that I had. They were extremely supportive of me picking up the bat and going on to play. So, for them, it was more like I was living their dream. So, it was okay. just an extension of whatever they wanted me to. So, so, that way, I think more than me, my parents were very happy to see me play for the country. Okay. Okay, fine, I'm ready for the catch. Oh, that was too low, but it's okay. Good my catch then. <laughs> so, my next question is, apart from cricket, what is so, you know, what makes you, what relaxes your mind? Because a cricketer needs to think on 360 degree perspective. What relaxes your mind? Uh, I think one other thing apart from cricket that I really enjoy is I love music okay. and I think I also like watching films okay. and my husband myself is also into uh, films himself. Oh, that's so nice. that way I think uh, we have we share a, we share a common bond together okay. by watching a lot of films and okay. uh, and in fact it is something that I even picked up from my father. So my father okay. also would love to watch a lot of okay. films. In fact, uh, post uh, my practice sessions or something even when I have a very bad game day or even a very good game day, right. the one thing that I always relate to is films. So, I think right. if you ask me about it, I think films it is. Okay, nice. Oh, let's go easy on the questions. <laughs> right. So, I'm gonna, we are going to talk about superstitions and cricket. Till these days, I mean, till now, what I believe is cricket and superstition go hand in hand because every time there is something, there is a match going on, there are millions and millions of people praying outside temples saying my country should win, my, my player should go on a century. So, what is that one superstition you still believe while going for a match? Uh, I still have a particular playlist that I always listen to right okay. from the time that I started okay. up until now. Okay. My routine has always been the same. Right. I do my prayers in the same style okay. and I also have a, one other thing is when I step into the room, uh. like when we go for the, I mean, mm. in my accommodation, mm. I pick one particular side of the bed. Okay. So that is something which is very intuition. So right. I, pick, uh, I pick that side of the bed right. and post that, I think the playlist okay. and also stepping onto the field, my routine is always very similar for all these years. Right, okay. So I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh yeah. There you okay. Go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time I when I get a catch, I remember Mahindra Singh Dhoni doing this, you know. <laughs> every time he gets a catch, he does this within a fraction of a moment. So who is your favorite cricketer? 
who is who inspired you to join you know take up a career in cricket I definitely say Sachin Tendulkar because okay. he was a huge inspiration for people who picked up the sport on a professional manner okay. especially in the late 90s so always a lot of people looked up him but on a personal front I always loved Adam Gilchrist batting okay. because he was a pioneer in setting the standards of you know that aggressive batting so that okay. way I think Adam Gilchrist okay. and I would also would like to had uh, Karen Rolton a women cricketer who always looked up and I had the privilege to play alongside her as well Okay ma'am before you toss the ball to me so here is a segment for you okay, okay. so what you're going to do is you're going to have the bat and ball you're going to keep tossing it okay. while tossing it you're going to pick a dream team of 11 members okay, okay? so a it's any all, player, time, all time all time all time okay. all time players of your choice and your time starts in 3 2 1 god this question is really it's like long <laughs> test ironic let's do this man come on come on yes 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 come on gilchrist sachin Ricky Ponting, uh, number four, Jack Callis, Michael Bevin, Mahendra Singh Dhoni, and uh, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Spinners: Mutaya Murli Dharan, Shane Warn, Brett Lee, Adam. No, 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 no. Are you? I missed the game. Okay, Glenn. so I've done more than that. List. Glenn Megrath. Then uh, I think. Uh, Shane won murchta hai yeah. Mutya Murli Dharan Ravindra Jadeja Oh that's great Ipa toss banenge ma'am Right so you picked a dream team of 11 people so who is your favorite and what made you to choose Mutya Murli Dharan or Glenn McGrath or you know Shane Warne Adam Gilchrist so why why is this affectionate towards Australian cricket team I definitely say the dominance. In fact, uh, yes, there are so many greats across uh, all countries. If you even take, your, I would even say Brain Lara, mm -hmm. one of the mm -hmm. people that I've looked up to as a cricket legend. Right. So you have them, and also when you talk about fast bowling unit, you cannot miss out the West Indian true, fast bowlers. True. But up, uh, across all of this, if I still went into with the Australian, is simply because I think I like the attitude that they brought mm -hmm. into the whole cricket dynamics, and mm -hmm. so that way I think I really love their attitude. So okay. and my. Heart inclines toward India, so I think I'm going to go with that combination. Right. Okay. I'm ready for the ball. Oh yes. Okay. So what is so special about left-hand batting? Uh, I think I might have to say elegance. Okay. Uh, because it's always people whenever you talk about left-handers batting, they always talk about the cover drive of a left-hander. Mm. So that way, I think they have a very unique style of. doing it and also i don't want to put down a right hander okay. in this field but i'm also going to say that i think when you do something which is not very natural to you okay. it catches your attention so i think uh, people we see a lot of right handers right. Uh, across everywhere i mean across the world so that way i think when left hander does certain thing in a very unique manner and it also is done with the precision and okay. elegance i think that's why left handers are always a treat to watch okay that's really oh that was low <laughs> <laughs> okay fine so my next question is it's not a question it's an action segment okay right. so i'm going to name players so we want you to imitate them like as in have a stance or like you know the way they flick their ball you know or you know their favorite shots or ever known favorite shots okay, okay. so to start with hmm are you ready for it ma'am yes <laughs> okay so you're just going to imitate it you're All just right. going to have a stance or like a flick okay okay all time favorite god of cricket sachin tendulkar Let's see. In fact, I will I will have to do it in the right, right but yeah. I will try do it. I will do it in my left. But okay. one thing I've always loved is a straight right. Okay. So, I think I'm going to do this. Okay. Ah. He does that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think I've always it's always in my head. Right. So, I've always memorized it. So, I think I'd okay. definitely my favorite. Yuvi. Yuvraj Singh. Ah, Yuvraj Singh. Left is easier go. Left. <laughs> I think it's flick shot is something that you really like it. The just the flick of the wrist. So uh, I think I'll go with that. Okay, super. Now Matala Doni, <laughs> helicopter shot. Can't even. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is really great. Smriti Mandana. Elegantly between the point and cover okay. region. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Upper cut. Talai vare. Abdi. Okay so let me bowl the yorker with a segment okay? okay so the name of the segment is name one thing good about the person one thing kurumbutanam or naughty or like one annoying thing about the person okay, okay? so are you ready for the yorker yes 
Yes, okay. So, so the first person is Smriti Mandana. So I think one thing I like about uh, Smriti Mandana is she is the way she is carried herself, mm. evolved herself as a cricketer is something that I think I really like. Uh, because uh, it, she come, she came from a very small town, so for her to pick up uh, a very uh, internationally very dominant sport and to be able to achieve is something uh, I think I, it is some, uh, something that I like about her. I like the way she's uh, shaped up her career, so that is something I like about her. Right. If you ask me about her naughtiness, I would definitely say she's always this quiet girl and she gets the other person into trouble <laughs> but she is not the one who always gets caught it's the person who's beside her who gets right. caught so that way i think smriti mana that part i could definitely say right okay i'm ready for the catch <laughs> now it's gonna be malinga style okay, okay. so mitali raj uh, in fact about mitali uh, the i think the one thing i really like about her is her commitment after, uh, yes, I've seen her uh, in her later half of her career. So, especially for somebody to maintain that kind of a dedication and to be passionate about the sport, uh, when you don't have the, a lot of uh, admiration for the game as such, because I think women's cricket started peaking up after, uh, after 2017. So, for somebody to be so focused even before you got the recognition is something that I really admire about her. And one other thing about her is, uh, I think probably I'll say her, our conversations in Tamil is something that I really <laughs> enjoy. And I like the way she puts across certain words. It's not, uh, I mean, on a friendly manner, it okay. sounds very sweet. Name any word, ma'am. Any, anything, any word or any conversation which happened on field. <gasps> Maybe she will, in case if she wants to tell okay. me, uh. tell the other person, uh. if you go tell the bowler this uh. one, she'll say, Trishi, I will kita so look and correct up order. <laughs> so it used to be very sweet and very, in fact, more than you want to convey the issue, you are so uh, attracted to the way that is, it sounds. So that I think that is one thing that I remember. Right. Okay, fine. So up next on the list is, so, Harman Preet Kaur. Uh, Harman Preet Kaur, I think, uh, again, another small town <clears> girl. <throat> and uh, in fact, I liked, uh, if you have to be very specific, I will talk about her 2017. Uh, semi-final game against Australia when uh, we didn't have a lot of hopes because Australians are very strong, dominant side. To pull up a innings like 171 is not a joke. So I think that is uh, requires a lot of guts. And as a person, she's a very gutsy person and as a player and she speaks her mind out. So that way, I think uh, I like that quality about her. Right. Another thing, if you ask me about the more funny part, I think I like her dance a very. Okay. <laughs> her Punjabi moves, you just, whenever there's music, irrespective of what mood she is, right. I think she'll always want to start getting up and make some moves. So I think that is something I like about her as well. Right, okay. Ma'am, in the same match, Deepthi Shama ko ongluko or a moment ruko. So can you just tell about that moment, what happened on field? Uh, if I've got it right, I think it was her 100 moment where yeah. she wanted to get to the other end uh, and in fact she wanted the strike. So I think one thing of that particular moment which I remember is, it was not about the 100 that mattered to her. I think it is all about getting to strike and to be able to uh, ensure that she goes to a different gear. Mm -hmm. Because uh, what happens is, uh, at that mo at that particular game, you've uh, I mean we've lost a lo lot of early wickets. So that way, when Harman she had the responsibility and she, she took that on, uh, on herself to ensure that she took the team through. True. And as a batter, when you've struggled so far and when you've done the journey, one thing that you don't want to get out is run out. Exactly. So I think yeah. that is something that triggered the moment. And mm -hmm. one one other quality that I like about her is she plays for India with a lot of pride. Pride, yeah. So that way, I think that was something that must have triggered uh, between both of them. And yeah, Deepthi being a youngster who just got into the team, I think all the more, I think you can understand the rage. True, true, true. Right. So I'm ready for the catch. Kamini finishes off in style. <laughs> thank you so much for answering all my questions and sparing your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh,